Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create views within Google BigQuery. For this example, I'm going to be creating a one-to-one -one match of the tasks table in my BigQuery instance. So the easiest way to create a view of a specific table is simply to go into, is to click into the table and then it's going to show me the schema, which is important because I need to know which fields I want to work with. Then I'm going to come up here to query and click on it and then click on in new tab. And the reason that's the easiest way to get started is it already pre-populates some of the query for me, which just saves me having to go back and forth trying to find, for example, the exact path um, to the table. So I'm just going to go now ahead, go ahead now and flesh out the query. So we have ID. Um, actually, I've since forgotten ID created at name and completed at. So I'm going to go ID created at. Oops. Created at. And I'm just going to go ahead and rename this task created at as task id and then we have name as task name and then we have completed at as task completed at i'm going to get rid of the limit okay and then let's drop this down here. And that looks good to me. We get the green check showing everything's fine. You know, just run the query. Everything looks fine. So at this point, we're basically ready to go ahead and create our view. So we've got our SQL query. And now we want to save it as a view. So how do we do that? We simply come up, we're going to simply come up here to save, click, click on save view. And now we get this uh, little uh, pop-up and we can just go ahead and click and choose where we wanna save it. So, you know, if you wanna have a different data set for your views, you can go ahead and create that ahead of time and then pick it from, from uh, in the UI and then we, we're good. Um, next, we need to name our table. So we're gonna call this fact Asana tasks and I'm just going to add here demo go ahead and click save and as you'll notice the UI updates itself and now we've got a view in BigQuery it's as simple as that now notice the symbols here are different so this symbol over here looks almost like a calculator um, this represents an actual table uh, as in a materialized table in the in the warehouse while this symbol over here represents a view now if i wanted to edit the sql query what i'm going to do what i need to do is click on on the view go over here to details scroll down and i see my query and if i click on edit query it's going to open up the query editor and I can go ahead and add something to this. So just going to do that as source name. Okay. And now I can come up here, click on save view and it's done. If I go back in, actually we refresh the page. Go in again, you can see that uh, the schema has changed. Come down here and we can see that we have the latest version since we saved it. So that's it. Um, if you found this video useful, please consider hitting the like button. The like button that helps uh, tell the, Google, the YouTube algorithm that this piece of content is helpful. That way more analysts like yourself will see it. 
and that will help us uh, grow the channel and, and reach more people. And if you enjoy this type of content, consider hitting the subscribe button. We, uh, I publish uh, new videos frequently and it would be great to have you as part of the community. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.